Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the show. It's Beaker's Lab. The gang is back. Okay, so if you guys haven't seen this, we are maxing this by the end of the year. By January 1st, 2024, we're going to have this thing max. Or, I mean, I, I guess we could always fail. And if we fail, I think I'm going to legally change the business name. I'm not talking the channel name. I'm talking my legal business. What I file my taxes under, I'm going to change it to Lulu's Lab. I will call my lawyer on the phone with you guys and be like, hey, help me out with this. But anyway, man, get your shades on get your shoes off. We're going to do this. It starts today with something very simple that actually started in the last episode. Guys, we got to keep this cannon going. It started at level one, then went to two. It's now at three, which seems like, well, we haven't made any progress, but it's going to go a lot higher today. But I also want to go over to the builder base. That doesn't have anything to do with maxing this because I want to max the builder base too eventually. Or do I? But first, guys, let's make it official. It's time to max Lulu's base because the one and only Day Soul Max resumes in three two, one. Hey, so real quick, how long does this take? And I engineered this. I mean, I, I'm sort of making it too important here. I didn't engineer anything, but I made it so that when we do this, when we do this cannon, it's going to be Bob. Let's do it, man. 30 minutes. Yeah, I got 30 minutes. Cool. Wait, wait for it. Bob's coming. That sounded like something scary. Devo's coming. Yeah, no, it's, it's just Bob. It's just Bob. Cool. Okay, so we'll come back to see that finish. I mean, I guess, right? We're never going to see it again. We don't have any more level one cannons upgrades, so we'll check that out in a bit. Seven things upgrading. That's that's pretty dope. Oh, I kind of forgot how bad the builder base was over here. Okay, I don't blame anybody if you do this too, but I basically rushed most of my bases on the builder base just so I could get Bob or Auto. It was originally Auto, which to be fair was more fun. I want to get over here again today. I don't think I've attacked on this accounts builder base probably in i don't know i don't know if i ever have since they changed it to builder base 2.0 now when we were talking about builder base 2.0 we, we were framing it as like you know rip builder base it's coming back as something new but is it gonna just rip again like are they gonna have to change it again or is it just not gonna be ever played i don't know let me know what you guys think let me know if you guys play over here because i think the clan capital might even be more popular than this and that's saying something It sort of forces you to play on the builder base a little bit, but you don't have to play that much. And if you don't like it at all, don't play at all. It's fine. So my bases, I never built. <laughs> I never built the boat. Yeah, guys, there was a couple videos where we legitimately built the boat from nothing on some of our other scrub bases just for a stupid video. Like to scam our clan. Do you guys remember that? I built I built the boat to scam my clan. I think that was like the title of the video. Yeah, long story. Uh they they were okay with it. It wasn't that much of a scam. Anyway, man, we got a bunch of time. We got a bunch of hogs. I'm gonna drop that, and we still have two left over. Sweeping this base. You know, okay, this is fun. You got this like surgical approach when you're on the builder base because it is more, well, I think it is more skill-based, right? This is a skill-based part of Clash. You can't just go spam here. Yeah, I don't know if that makes it more fun though. I think it's a problem, man. Like Town Hall 15 kind of proved that difficulty, added difficulty does not always mean added fun. It really does not. It does for some people, pro players, maybe some of you guys, I just want to spam hogs and sometimes get a three star. <laughs> I'm a simple man. I just want to spam hogs and sometimes get a three star. Write that on my tombstone. All right. I'm going to distill down the past, whatever, four minutes of clash. Was that fun? You know, I'm going to give it a couple of points because getting the six stars, it is fun. When you sweep the bases, it is fun. And I think it's probably because we're low in trophies. If we got higher, we'd probably get destroyed. <laughs> Maybe we should do that. But still, was this fun? All right, one wall, two wall. Ah, uh, perfect, perfect. So we got pretty much no gold. Let me hit this, get full gold. I mean, I'm never gonna use it, right? Might as well use it here. Hey, do we have any of the perks, by the way? We have the gold, but yeah, we got 15%. Okay, this thing is still 4 million, even with the gold pass? Seems a bit overpriced, I don't know. All right. Dunk. <laughs> what? what have we done? I don't know why. I genuinely just did this to get the gem mine. Dunk. Okay. That's a good spot for this siege, man. Look. 
Okay, once that once that archer goes down, this is gonna be really cool. We're, we're gonna see it hopefully knock down all four of those. What? Bro, 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 bro. I thought that was gonna be so smooth. I thought it was gonna be so smooth. I mean, it almost was. It almost was. Anyway, all four of those, oh well, three now, are gonna go down together, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we only had to like kill our king to do it and, you know, use a spell. Well, homie's gonna go up there a little bit. I, I say we clear some of these buildings and then charge in. Yeah, man, long shot. Hail Mary, let's go from the other side. All right. Here we go. Heal. Let's get a second heal there. Dude, that was distracted. Let's get a couple skellies down there. <laughs> I love skeleton spells. Having skeleton spells on the on the most pointless of raids. Raids that do not need skeleton spells. So <laughs> Let's get those extra hogs down the line here. Looks like we're kind of losing steam here, but the only thing we have left pretty much is the town hall. So again, all or nothing. That's the motto of the gang. We're either going to get a three star or a one star. Yeah, it's looking like a, well, it's going to be a two star, but every single hog just died. Good stuff, team. Good stuff. Making a, you're making us proud. Representing Lulu's lab very well. Okay, well, drop the balloons. I don't need them, so drop them. Guys, what do we get? Pretty good. Pretty good, I gotta say. Christian, thanks, buddy. Guys, we gotta go back to base now. I think we have enough Dark Elixir to do either... You know what? We got enough Dark Elixir. End of sentence. Because right now, it's time for the main event. Oh. All right, gang, welcome back to the main event, a show within a show where we do something stupid. I'm your host, Beaker. The shades are coming off for this one, guys. We gotta we gotta be serious here. Also, it's like getting dark out, so pretty pretty dark in here. Not really shades time. Okay, 12 minutes left. So if we boost that, it's gonna be 60 seconds. Final spot we can look is over here with the raid medals or with just straight up gems. It's not the ideal way to do it, but we could do it. Gems right there. Build a potion. Okay. Not really worth it, but I'm gonna do it. Dunk. Two dollars. Say that's like. That's like a $2 potion. We just spent $2 on it. Okay. Oh, there's one for 99 cents right there. Ah. Uh, okay, I'm gonna get that one. Done. Hey, by the way, guys, if you get anything in the shop, whether it's one single builder potion or a whole bunch or the gold pass or a scenery, make sure you use somebody's code. It helps a ton, guys. Uh, ours is Beak. Uh, respect to Supercell for doing that for us and, and respect to you guys for remembering to put in the code. It really helps a lot. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one dunk. Gang, this base has come a long way. It truly has. And it's got a long way to go. But this is a sign of, you know, we're serious about this. I never thought I would upgrade this cannon. I know that sounds bizarre, but <laughs> he was moving. I know that sounds bizarre. Like, why not, Beak? I don't know. I don't know. I kind of like the idea of having a level one cannon. It's kind of cool. It's like a decoration, right? It just, I don't know. It's like a level one Tesla. It's like a level one wall. I think they look cool. But in this case, I want to have seven cannons so we can upgrade every single one at once for the final upgrade that we do on this season. That's why that countdown up there, it's far, far, far less because the final upgrade, the final upgrade that we do has to be done in 25 days. We just got to start it, right? We're going to start that final one and coast into the end. It's not going to be easy. <laughs> well, gang, what do you think? Should we save this builder for walls? Do we go back in? I I say we go back in. You guys want to go back in? Sure, let's do it up. One hour, 40 minutes. I got one hour, 40 minutes. Dunk. Anyway, guys, I think that's it for today. Oh, wait, I was supposed to do walls before. Ah, it's fine. It's going to be done soon. We can spend this Dark Elixir, though, before we go. Let me make sure that it's either in the pet house, the lab, or on a hero. Well, it can't be a hero because we're out of builders. So how about the unicorn? Guys, pretty big upgrade, pretty expensive. We have the loot. Let's do it. Anyway, man, we're back to seven builders going. We got something going in the pet house. Now we just got to get something going in the lab and every single thing is working. And that's going to be next time though. <laughs> we're out of loot. But guys, for now, thanks for coming out for Daystill Max today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We got to get Lulu's base max and I think we can. I hope we can. Look, we'll see you guys next time right here on the one and only Beaker's Lab. Wish us luck. Peace.